News Talk, 95.1 FM, 790 AM. We are KFYO. Mornings with Dave King and Matt Martin. And that only means one thing. It's time for your car pro, Jerry Reynolds. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning, fellas. How y'all doing? I'm doing well. How about you? Oh, great week for a convertible, huh? <laughs> Which kind do you have? <laughs> I've got the all-new 2018 Mercedes-Benz E400 convertible. Uh, really nice car. Uh, this this con- this convertible top, although it's only been down once this week, and that was just for pictures. Um, it's pretty impressive. It's it's very thick. It's got three layers, and this is unusual. Um, normally, you, you, when you get a, a convertible, the top's fairly thin. Uh, when you have a soft top versus a hard top, and and so you get some wind noise and that sort of thing. But this this top just fits like a glove, uh, and it and it's quick. You can you can lower it or raise it in twenty seconds, and you can. Lower it and raise it. It speeds up to 31 miles per hour, which is kind of cool. But pretty car. It's a dark blue color with with a tan interior. Drives great. Got 329 horses under the hood, uh, and 87 thousand dollars. So I did that real fast. Yeah, is that is that a good price? <laughs> I'm assuming you for know, a Mercedes, it's a pretty good price. Yeah, and and the one thing. That I will say about this car is it's got a real back seat. It'll seat two adults back there very comfortably. And most most mid-sized convertibles, the back seat is just for your briefcase or your lady the purse, you know, to get it out of your way. This car's got uh, it's it's got real room in the back seat. It, 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 if you're looking for something like this, um, it, yeah, I think it's I think the price is fine based on. You know uh, uh, some of the BMWs out there, and and a few of the others. So yeah, I, I wish the weather had been a little bit better this week, so I could have enjoyed it uh, top down. But pretty 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 nice car. But the big news this week, guys, was of course the Detroit Auto Show started. And that sort of captivated our time. Uh, I've got somebody at the show sending reports back, and we're posting at CarProUSA.com just rapid fire on new new vehicle introductions uh we got info on the new ford ranger uh the first info that's actually been out came out this week and along with pictures it's a pretty truck uh it's not small it's not small like the old ranger but more like the medium size kind of like the colorado yeah chevy colorado size it appears uh we've got information on the new 2019 silverado which will have a diesel uh, availability to to match Ford, what Ford just announced. We've got info on the 2019 Toyota Avalon. Uh, the Kia Forte is changing. A new Jeep Grand Cherokee Ram truck uh, is going to come in 2019 with a hybrid version. And although that's not a first, it's a first in a good while. Chevrolet tried it back about 10 years ago, and it was a miserable failure. And then we we have one story that's really cool about the 2019 Ford Mustang Bullet that's coming out. And in the midst of all that, they found the original Bullet that was driven by Steve McQueen and back in the movie. And, and so they've got those cars sitting side by side. Uh, my review of the Enclave that I had last week, the Enclave is up. And we got the winners of the 2018 North American Car Truck and SUV of the Year. The car was the new Honda Accord. The truck was the Volvo uh, XC60, which is uh, their midsize SUV. And then the big SUV uh, news was the Lincoln Navigator was named SUV of the Year. So pretty, pretty neat stuff coming out of Detroit. We got another week to go, and at the same time, uh, Barrett Jackson is in Scottsdale. Uh, their sales started uh, last week and will end up this week. It's been a lot of all the good cars that are going to run through Barrett Jackson will start today and go through Saturday. Man, so there's massive amounts going on right now. Oh, it's been a busy. So, week. so I'm, <laughs> I got one more for you. Um, Ford is saying that they're going to kind of get rid of sedan cars or at least uh, lower their production on sedan cars and also double their. Uh, 
what was it, double the money that they're going to be spending in uh, electric vehicles. Uh, was yep. that a, was that a surprise? You know, getting out of the the sedan business, which they they can't do. I mean, completely. I think they may scale back. Fusion could be on the short list. That car just hasn't been selling, and neither has Taurus. And they're smart enough to know that while this market is hot, you know, if you can convert that to SUVs, then you know you, you're going to do better. But the problem is. We see this, you know, we saw this back in 08, and all the all the manufacturers were, were wanting to build nothing but big pickups and some SUVs, and then gas at $4 a gallon, and they're scrambling to make cars again. You know, it, it's, it's a cyclical thing, and I realize that, you know, the baby boomers are all switching over to SUVs, but the millennials, they don't care about SUVs. They don't really care about cars, to be honest with you. But if they, if they, if they're going to have their own transportation, it's going to be a car. It's not going to be an SUV. So I'm not, I'm not sure that that plan is going to work. And in, in this electrification thing, um, uh, every manufacturer screaming, "No, we're going to have this many electric cars out," you know, in the next five years. Guys, there's nobody out there right now that wants to buy them. There's plenty of them on the market, yeah. and it's less than 1% of the total sales of cars. So, you know, somebody's going to take a bath on this thing, and that's a prediction I made uh, several months ago on the air. Yeah. Uh, I've got one one other. Uh, I'm just looking at kind of the, the stock prices and the percent of change for each stock. Um, Fiat Chrysler seems to be way, way up since about August of this year. Do you uh, – what happened – that uh, kind of skyrocketed uh, Fiat Chrysler? You know, I think it's their Ram truck sales. Uh, they crossed, in 2017, they crossed half a million sales for the first time ever. Their trucks are doing really well. And they're not spending the incentive money that some of the other manufacturers are. So I think I think Wall Street likes that reaction. And, I, you know, of course, all the stocks are up. You know, another record day yesterday. Uh, which is pretty amazing, but you know there's going to be some corrections. You, you look at Tesla. Tesla has been in business 14 years. They've never made a profit yet, and yet their stock is is one of the highest automotive stocks out there. Period. So I think there's going to be some corrections in the automotive market, and I think a lot of it's going to have to do with you know what does 2018 bring as far as sales? Can yeah. 2018 stay close to 2017? If so. Everything will be fine, but if things really start to slow down, you got to remember we were aided last year by half a million vehicles in in Houston. Yeah, that w- that wouldn't have been there more. Some of them would, but n- nowhere near that kind of number. Right. Uh, well, um, Jerry, we just want to remind people if they want some updates on the Detroit Auto Show, go to your website, carprousa.com, or if you want to just research a car. Also, you're on live here at uh, seven ninety a.m. from eleven. To one on Saturday. That's right. That's right. right. I will be there. Well, thank you very much, Jerry. You have a great day. Have a good day. You too. All right. Bye. Bye bye.